Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Sileti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 6.7 from the chapter number 6. The problem is, draw the logic diagram of a 4-bit resistor with 4D flip-flops and 4 4 into 1 multiplexer. We have to use 4 number of D flip-flops and 4 number of 4 into 1 multiplexer that is 4 input 1 output multiplexer with mode selection S1 and S0 a 4 into 1 multiplexer so it has 4 inputs so we'll have 2 selection lines and the 2 selection lines are S1 and S0 as per this question the resistor operates according to the following function table that means these are the selection line combination and for that resistor operation will be this 4 okay so whenever we have both the selection lines 0 and 0 there will be no change whenever we have s1 is 0 and s0 is 1 we will have to complement the four outputs that means whatever with the content of the resistor previously we have to complement that outputs next we have s1 is 1 and s0 is 0 then we have to clear the resistor okay clear the resistor to 0 means all the outputs will be 0 when S1 is 1 and S0 is 1, load parallel data. That means whatever be the data available at the 4 inputs of this 4-bit register that will be transferred through the register. So first of all, let us draw the 4 deep flip-flops and 4 into 1 multiplexers. So we have 4 stages. So let me draw the 4 multiplexers and 4 deep flip-flops first. So suppose this one is 1 multiplexer. This one is 2nd. So this one is the third multiplexer, here we have this fourth multiplexer. So this is 4 into 1 multiplexer. So here we will have two selection line inputs. Suppose here we have the selection lines S1 and S0 at these two ports. And here we will have four input lines. Okay. So suppose they are 0, 1, 2, 3. So these are the four input ports and here we'll have one output ports Y. So this is a four into one multiplexer. So here we'll have one D flip flop. This one is D flip flop. D flip flop. FF means flip flop. Okay. So this output of this multiplexer will be connected to the D input of this D flip flop. And here we'll have Q and Q complement. That is this is the normal output and this is the complemented output. So let me draw all of the D flip flops first. So here also we'll have one D flip flop. Okay. So D flip flop. This is suppose one. This is two. Okay. Here we have one input D, and the output of this multiplexer will be connected here. This is Y output, and here we'll have a normal output and a complemented output. So here we have drawn this 4 multiplexer and 4 D flip flops. So the output of this multiplexer will be connected to the D input of this flip flop. And here also we'll have a normal output and a complemented output. Here also we'll have two select line inputs S1 and S0. And 4 input lines 0, 1, 2, 3. So S1, S0 and 0 1 2 3 these are the four input lines and the last fourth multiplexer also you will here will have two select lines s1 and s0 and 0 1 2 3 these are the input ports of this multiplexer here also we'll have to give clock pulses for these flip-flops so each flip-flop will have one clock input so this is third one and this is fourth one. As part of question, we have to give synchronous input of the clock pulses. Okay, so here we'll apply this clock and connect the clock pulses to this clock input. So we have simultaneously given the clock pulses to these deep flip flops. Okay, that means whenever we have a transition at this clock input, all the flip flops will give their output as per the input. Okay. 
here we have some common selection lines that will be S1 and S0. Suppose this one is S1 and this one is S0 line. These are the selection lines. So if we have to connect this S1 line to this S1 input and this S0 line to this S0 input for all of them. So S1 is this one and S0 is connected to S0. That means we have to connect the, the selection lines to the respective input of these multiplexers. So we have connected the select lines. The operation of the multiplexer is such that depending on the selection lines, any one of the input ports will be connected to this output port. Okay, that means whenever we will have the selection line 0, 0, this 0 input, 0, 0 means 0, okay, so this 0 input will be connected to this output y. That means whatever be the content of this 0 input, the output will be that one. That means the this y output will have the data that is available at this 0 port when the select line is 0, 0. When the select line is 0, 1, that means S1 is 0 and S0 is 1. This content of this one number port, okay, this one of this port 1 will be connected here. That means whatever be the data available here, that will be transferred here. Okay, and for 1, 0, that is S1 is 1 and S0 is 0, this third input port content will be connected to this output, that will be transferred to this output. And when S1 is 1 and S0 is also 1, the content of this fourth input port okay, will be transferred to this output. Now let us see the function table. No, so the first case is S1 is 0 and S0 is 0. That means the operation will be no change. So we will have to connect this normal output to this 0 port. So whenever we have S1 is 0 and S0 is 1, that is we have to complement the 4 outputs. That means this complemented output will be now connected to this 1 input. Okay. And whenever we have 1, 0. 1, 0 means this S1 is 1 and S0 is 0. Okay. Whenever we have this combination, that means this third input port will be connected to this output port. The whatever the content available here, that will be transferred to this output port. That means here we have to apply a 0 because we have to clear the register to 0. And for this fourth case, that is S1 is 1 and S0 is 1. So we have to load the parallel data. Load the parallel data means whatever we have at the input port of this register, Okay, that will be transferred to this output and this is a deep flip flop and it will be exactly transferring this data available at this input port. Okay, so this is a 4 bit register. So here we will apply A3 and this port will be A3 and A3 complement. So this is for the fourth stage. Okay, and for the third stage, this will be A2, A2 bar. So this A2 will be connected here and this A2 complement will be connected to this port number 2 that is 1, this 1 port. And similar to the previous case we have to apply here 0 because we have to clear the register when we have the select line is 1 and 0. Okay, and for the last case, we have to load the parallel data. That means I2 will be here. Okay, so I2 will be connected to this third port. So in this way, you have to draw for the other two flip-flops and multiplexers. Okay, so let me draw this quickly. So this is the complete design as per the given conditions of this problem number 6.7. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please put it in the comment section below. Also like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.